everybody, it's Praxis, and I have a finished foundation here. All I have to do now is to knock off all of the little form pins that are in there. I'm using this small sledgehammer to do it, uh, and uh, I've gotten the entire backside pretty much. There's just a few left up here. That whole side, that whole side's all done. I'm doing the outside surface first because once I get the outside surface done, I can put on the asphalt sealer on the outside and then put the foam on, and then that will free up the contractor so that they can do the perimeter drain and start backfilling up all along this whole side here. There's a bunch of these pins on the inside that I have to knock off as well, but I'm not gonna bother with those yet because at this point I wanna just get you know, the contractor freed up so that they can do what they want to do. Once I get them working on that, I can work on the inside. I mean, I could I could do the pins in there a year from now, and it would be just fine. So, so that, that's the plan for today. I've been knocking, like I said, a lot of them off, and I've developed my technique, uh, so I, I thought maybe I would share it with you after I've knocked off probably, I don't know, a couple hundred of them. Show you so what I, check I learned uh, after doing many, many of these. Uh, first, I would really recommend wearing gloves. I left them up on the top of the ladder and I didn't feel like going down, uh, going back up and getting them, but I would definitely wear gloves because, you know, the repetitive swinging can give you calluses and blisters. Really, well, calluses are good, blisters not so much. Uh, and once you get a blister in your hand, it's uncomfortable to work, it slows you down. Uh, so what I I've, uh, had been doing at first was I was taking this piece of concrete around it, knocking that off, and then going through and, and hitting this Hitting that off and that works okay but what I found was that I could oftentimes get the the concrete off easier if I just hit the pin first the pins stick out a little bit here and yeah sometimes it just falls off right like that uh, but if you can just get the tip of the pin well I keep having it fall off right I mean obviously it works pretty well let's try this one here tap wow these are all just coming off right like that I want to get one that's a little more difficult uh, yeah, this one down here so if you Okay, that's a good example. So I knocked the pin off, and now there's just this concrete nub here. And I found that a lot of times you can just go and give that one whack with the side of the hammer, and it'll come off pretty clean just like that. So after doing several hundred of them, I found that knocking the pin off first, and then the rest of that, that tends to work better. And then afterwards, I'm taking the side of the hammer, and these little lines, I'm trying to wear them down. On the outside of the foundation, I'm doing that so that the, po the foam can be that much uh, tighter up against the wall, just, you know, so it avoids, you know, be bu being bumped up out a little bit, because if it's bumped out a little bit, it's easier for junk to fall in, and then it keeps wedging the foam out. On the inside, I want to smooth it off just so it looks nicer. That's it. Thanks for watching.